So, hello guys, and I'm back. I've realised that I haven't recorded a video, a video in about two weeks. And rest assured that there won't be any more episodes of the India series, because it's ended. And as you probably could tell, France won, assuming that you have viewed the series, because, uh, as you can probably remember, <laughs> it controlled most of the world, or not most, but a very good a portion, and it was definitely the biggest power in all aspects of the game so there wasn't really any doubt who would win to be honest so uh i did make a tutorial video where i played as germany for one episode and that didn't that didn't uh develop into a series in the end because i did upload i did uh, not upload but i did record a second episode but uh there wasn't really anything suggesting that anyone wanted it to become a series so I decided not to do that and this is kind of I'm still gonna play as Germany I guess this isn't the same episode and the same same series this is a new game uh, I joined a few hours ago and this is a blitzkrieg event which comes around every now and again I mean I've already played as Yugoslavia in this a month ago I think or something like that or the first iteration of it I guess. So uh, in this event basically every country starts off as quite a major military power in terms of they have quite a lot of stuff researched and a very large army. I think I have like over 80 units here especially as Germany. As Germany I am a very powerful military power. I said power twice. Okay so uh, Let's just start off. The first thing that happened is Italy sent me a share map for share map, so I accepted that. Italy's already attacking France. That's not not great for me because I'll, I'll explain later. But I think the very first thing I, I'll do is I'll just create a coalition. I'm going to call it the powers. Look to flag. Right, since I don't have many flags, I'm just going to use the Death Star. As you can tell, I've thought about this before. I figured there's no real point in downloading a, I guess, say like a flag, like the German flag, or maybe the swastika. I mean, that's probably... I wouldn't do that because that's not really ethical. So yeah, I would, if, I, if, I, if I had to do a real flag, I'd do this flag. But I decided to go PG and just do a Death Star. And not necessarily PG, this is very awkward. But, yes, so I felt like the Death Star makes sense. And we'll just say... Yeah, because no one really writes long descriptions, to be honest. I mean, in one of the games I played, I... I made a communist uh, coalition. I was playing the basic 22-player game as the as Soviet Russia. And I did win. We did win our coalition. But I did, I think I didn't make a fairly long description. So, first things first, I haven't really checked what we have researched. I know for a fact that we're going to have some stuff done. Yes, we, we have, we even have power troop as well. So, we're good in the infantry. We've researched everything here. Except for SPNT air, but no one really wants that. We haven't got heavy tanks researched, which is something that we might want to research and strategic. Yeah, we have most of most of what we need research, to be honest. I could just start further research on some things. I have two slots, so I guess I, since I've got this up to level two, I guess I'll start researching heavy tanks. And also I will research militia, maybe. I mean, I don't really need it, but. I might as well. So building, I'm not, I haven't looked at the province list. This is the, basically, I've just gone into the game. I haven't looked since I went in. I was just doing some other things, so I couldn't record straight away. Okay, we seem to have a lot of stuff in Berlin. And we have a few tank plants in Essen. Do we have any, yes, we do have some air, air things. The trouble is we only have one port city in Hamburg, so that's that could essentially, eventually, essentially and eventually be an issue. 
but there's not much that I need to research, well, not research, <laughs> I, I just don't know how to speak at this point, I think it, it might be useful to build a secret lab, because we already have some secret stuff researched, and obviously we don't have any already built, and maybe we should build it somewhere in inside our territories, I don't know why I want to do that, everything's moving around, somewhere like Munich, actually, because we only have a tank plant. So I'll build a secret lab here. Don't really know what our, um, our resource situation is like. Um, yeah, we might need to boost grain and oil. I like how we're not doing too well on oil because that's quite historically accurate. So let's look at any of our Show all provinces. Resource. Let's look at our oil provinces. So we have uh, an oil city and this um, uh, rural oil production province. And as I like to do, I'll build some local industry because this boosts it by quite a lot. At least that's that's what we did in the India game. Okay, so no other oil. That's our only rural oil production province. And yeah, we will we'll probably boost this because we do need oil. We are a very tank based army, especially with the Axis Doctrine having massive bonuses to medium tanks specifically. And we need oil basically because oil, all the tanks will have a daily upkeep, which definitely includes oil. <laughs> And in terms of grain, we have a couple of grain rural provinces, and they actually give us quite a lot. Whereas this oil province is barely anything. Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll build maybe some local industry then. In one of them, at least. I mean, grain isn't definitely as dire a situation as oil. And we do have level two, so I won't build that up currently. So maybe for resources, that's it now. I don't want to splash too much on that. And then maybe that could have uh, negative effects later on. So let's talk about military positions. So this is, this is the issue that I was talking about. Italy has attacked France, like literally, as soon as it joined, basically, I think. And that means that I will have to attack France as probably one of my first steps, because I do want to have at least Paris and all, all of this under my control. I was planning to do a more of a like standard, not standard, but like historically accurate Germany playthrough, in which case I would ask the Soviet Union to split Poland. But I guess I could do that after taking France and the Low Countries, ideally. So yeah, that's an option. That's probably what I'm going to do. I sent some interceptors to hover over here, and they, they do have a Maginot line. At one point, I thought I could go take Luxembourg and then go over to Dijon, uh, hoping that they didn't have any fortifications there, but they have exactly the same fortifications as they have in the actual position of the Maginot line, which is a bit underwhelming, I'd say. Or disappointing, really, to be honest. And yeah, they also have, basically, this is very heavily fortified, and they have a decent amount of divisions over here. Mostly infantry, admittedly, but still. Well, this guy's moving, okay, that's interesting. Oh, and this guy is as well. This is an active player, so I, I guess. So, uh, that, yeah, he does, he does have some tanks over here. I do have an option, I have a few options. Well. Option one, just plunge straight through the Maginot line and basically with with a very large amount of troops and hope that all these fortifications and actually a decent amount of divisions, especially if they bring this in, and not ideal terrain because my infantry won't get bonuses and either will my tanks. Actually, none of this is very good for, for tanks. But this is a plains and so is this, but this is not useful. So, uh, option two is the thing I planned, the sneaky bit with Luxembourg, but now that it's not going to be much different, maybe just a few, a bit less divisions, but still a fortified, um, fortified town, 
with, admittedly, um, better terrain because my infantry will get bonuses. Option three, and potentially the last one, is to take all of Belgium very quickly and then I will go through here and here and maybe Dijon as well, assuming that they don't have much fortifications here, but this is also a beneficial province for my tanks because it's a plains over to Paris and ideally I would go all the way down here but Italy probably be there before so this is the problem I'm thinking maybe jumping in really early here will be a bit foolish and a bit I mean I'll get sort of demolished really quickly but France is having to deal with Italy and me if I do attack him so I'm really not sure what I need what I should do here oh he's moving stuff away okay i know what he's going to do he's going to he's going to try to take luxembourg it's quite obvious because it is it's kind of just there and i i i, I kind of understand why he think he, why he thinks it would be quite easy to take it um, i mean i was also going to do that early on so i have some decisions to make here first i'm going to move some of this some of my useful tank divisions. I'm just going to leave one militia in my capital. Actually, you know what? Well, I definitely need to move the tank separately because the militia is going to take a decade. They are very slow. And when you're combining units, the group as a whole is only going to be as fast as the slowest unit there, which in this case is the militia. Here, I'm definitely going to take these separately. Again, also for the, but I'm definitely going to move them, and also for the movement bonus. At this point, I'm ki kind of taking for granted that Poland won't attack me. But I am going to leave, maybe. Okay, I'll move the infantry a bit later. I'm, I'm just assuming that the AI won't go for me at this point. Could be a wrong assumption. I'm not, not necessarily saying that it's true. And I'll move these commandos over. Yugoslavia is an active player, so I'm going to try to protect that border. There's no real point in having them over here because Italy is my ally. We have a medium tank here. I'm definitely not going to keep any medium tanks, just doing nothing. When this is probably the biggest war I'm going to fight for a while against France. Could take advantage of them moving away stuff from here and then go over here because the fortification isn't going to do anything without anyone actually being there but i do want luxembourg at the end of the day the thing is if i do wage war against france i'm going to get luxembourg if i defeat them anyway so that is a thought i'm going to move all of this but then i won't have anything defending it yeah i guess i'll have to Quite useful stuff. I'll move one of these infantry divisions over here. Move this guy from Prague over here. Sorry, over here. And then this lad here these guys are going to move somewhere over here or maybe just here definitely going to involve all of my air force no real reason why not to not the naval bomber though i don't need that yeah why not i'll move this fighter over it's gonna to have to make this massive loop Oh, that looks quite cool, though, to be honest. Okay, so seeing what France's plan is here is definitely going to inspire me for this strategy. I feel like I'm going to ditch, ditch the Belgium. That's, that's not going to happen. But yes, I'll definitely move this. Move the armoured car. Did I do the wrong thing? I 
And then also move the artillery and the infantry. Having one infantry defending that, but I guess that's not going to attack me, is it? Just over here for now. So yes, I feel like the Belgium strategy isn't the best currently, because that's just not really a viable option. I think Belgium is going to have some stuff defending it, and this is really important that I do this with speed, because as much as I'm allies with Italy, this is really just a race, in my opinion, at least the way I see it and the way I want it to be. So who can get the most of France? And if I get all of the north, they're still going to get three cities. So, ideally, I might also get Bordeaux. But I definitely want Paris and Nancy. Okay, so now I'm just preparing for the attack. Um, I'm still thinking whether I should actually go and sweep and take Luxembourg first. But what is it? It's just, okay, it's fairly, fairly good stuff. And it will give me one bone, like 10, 10, 10 points. But I'll get it anyway if I take France, so there's really no reason why why I should. So just to show you what I'm going to do, I'm going to send the majority of my forces over to attack Strasbourg. Like that. Okay. But I am, go I am going to cancel this, because I'm not going to do it just yet. I'm just showing you about what it's going to look like, and this, and all my tanks. I think I'm going to wait for, for some of these to come over, and also for them to move closer to Luxembourg, because this game does take a while to do everything. And this is going to attack Strasbourg. So after I take this, let me just cancel these. After I take Strasbourg, I'm assuming they'll probably have moved their forces over to counterattack, so I will protect my position with, obviously, very, what's going to be very helpful is this level 3 fort. And after that, I'm going to slowly advance and take Nancy over to Paris, like kind of a sort of something similar to the uh, Franco-Prussian War of 1970-71. to 71. Uh, yes, so through Alsace-Lorraine, which is, by the way, this province around Strasbourg, and over to Paris. So that's my strategy, and it's to, to, to talk to, be, to you about more of like a global strategy. Uh, after that, I will finish up off with these uh, Benelux countries. I'm assuming I would have taken Luxembourg as part of France at that point. I'll take Belgium and ne the Netherlands. And after that, what am I doing? Yes, uh, well, that was going to move anyway, so this isn't really changing much. I'll take Belgium and the Netherlands, and then Poland. I could ask the Soviet Union if they want to split it. It is a player. But at the end of the day, I want Warsaw, so... And, and historically, they would get this, all of Eastern Poland, this, 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 and also Lvov. But maybe it, it, it was more like... That's the split in, in real, real history. But, but really, what they're getting is one, two, three vanilla provinces, which will only give them money and a fair amount of manpower. But uh, I, I guess Lvov has some buildings in it, apparently. Whereas I'm going to get, and then they're also getting one which produces actually a decent amount of goods. I'm going to get a rare materials province and two cities so it's definitely they're not probably that's probably not a very fair deal on them i mean i would definitely admit that it isn't to be honest but you know i might just have to take all of it then i don't really i think i can manage it on my own if i implement all of my tanks uh, in this game i'm going to try to go really with blitzkrieg also because one i'm playing is germany and b this is literal the literal game is called blitzkrieg uh, the, the, the um, event so i'm i'm really sending over quite a lot of uh, divisions so i'm going to concentrate my forces and attack france so by next episode i'm kind of wrapping up here i probably would have taken hopefully this is my plan I, ideally paris actually but uh, definitely up to nancy and these these this sort of area 
So hopefully my next episode I will have taken most of North Eastern France. So yes, I'm back, Hope, which hopefully is a good thing <laughs> so to those of you watching. And this is going to be a regular series where I'm going to be playing as Germany. See you guys in the next one. Bye.